From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV, brought to you by our friends at Goodfellas Cigar Lounge and Spirits and the Brustnutter Wealth Advisory Group in Ponte Vedra Beach. We're back at the bar. We're back at Tommy Max, and I'm catching up with an old friend of mine. Many of you know out there, DJ EL, Rockstar DJ Inc. He joins me here at the bar. What's up, my man? What's up, brother? Whoa. Oh, shoot, I'm throwing things around. That's my okay. Bad. How are you? <laughs> Outstanding. Good Great to you have here. you on the show. Absolutely. Finally. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. cheers. It's been a long time. Well, have we this. did recently see each other. Uh-huh. Yeah, was my, uh, for the graduation yes. party. Yep. It was, was a big party. success. Yes. Hey, the police came, so it, it worked, right? You, you know you have a good party when yeah. the police show up. I know. We, and we almost had it at I, the end there. You know what I mean? I did the wrong thing, and I played whoop, whoop. That's yeah. the sound of the police. Yeah. And that's, yeah. Uh, that was it. Yeah. That was, that was it. That. So you've been DJing for how long now? At least, um, I, I, I literally started when I was 14. Okay. Um, what got you into it? What did you hear? The Beastie Boys? <laughs> <laughs> and what, the Wonka, Wonka, Wonka? I mean, what? What are MTV you talking about? MTV Spring Break. Yeah. MTV, MTV Spring Break. Watching. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, watching all the DJs. Man, uh, that was just, great Spring Breaks. I right ruined then. every one of my mother's uh, turntable needles. Okay. And got in trouble for every one of those. Okay. Um, yelled out a lot. Then evolved to uh, my senior year of high school, went directly into a broadcasting program. Yep. Um, they okay. Had a vocational program. Oh, really? So huh? I actually got to that. build an entire radio station that day. Um, they they were putting up a new tower, okay. um, um, upping their power and everything. So um, actually got to see the power put in, the tower put in. Uh, the cement actually going yep. into a tower for a radio station, okay, uh, leading to your actual—I um, hate to say the word—manifestation, yep. okay, from manifest, yep. uh, but manifestation of how you actually put a radio station together and yep. how it actually goes out on the air. Yeah, and it intrigued me. Then. Um, You've done a ton of voiceover work. Mm-hmm. You can hear Eric's voice, EL's voice, all over town. You're doing events. You've got an event coming up this weekend. You're with NASCAR. We're going to get into yeah. all that. So you caught the bug early, and then it's just mm-hmm. – I mean, look, we worked together for a long time. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. We, 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 uh, we shared a uh, studio, The Loft, let, let in Jack's Let me give props, though. Let me give props, though. He yeah. saw a talent I did. First, oh, yeah, no doubt. And I was one of your first producers. You were. It was, That's right. And, and of radio. you saw the talent, radio, yeah. and it allowed me to produce for your show – Yep. You and Dave Wydell, it was amazing. Wasn't that it was, fun? Yeah. Oh, God, it was so much fun. <laughs> Wydell was always in trouble. I remember maker. yelling at the producer. So the, much fun. Uh, I remember yelling at the program director one day when you guys were on. Uh, uh, we, we, 9.30. Guys were, it was 9.30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys were. The real deal show. <laughs> yeah. We yeah, had, I had a way to yell. I had to yell at the program director because they were doing amazing. And <laughs> That was fun times. <laughs> Been a long time. We've known each other a long time, and and it's great to see how you've grown and how you've really made it in what is your passion. Mm-hmm. You're you're hired by NASCAR. Tell people yes. about the NASCAR gigs. I think uh, that's so cool. I've been lucky to be in the. Um the realm of things. Uh, it started with DJing for the Jaguars, yep. uh, which yeah. obviously came from all the things we've done together. Sure. Uh, Blake Bortles, um, honestly, he got me into DJing for training camp. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, that's the, right. You were spinning at Yeah, that I was camp. spinning Blake Bortles' uh, right. his golf tournament, okay. his charity golf tournament, and he told the assistant coaches to grab me and put me on the training oh, camp, cool. which yeah. allowed us – to go further, um, someone who worked for Jaguars went to work for CSM Production, okay. which is okay. NASCAR's yep. main production company. Yep. So they brought me in to do more. You never know who you're going to impress. You're doing right. You never you're know. That's right. why you got to put on a show every single time, no matter what. Exactly. You, you might 100%. not feel good. You might not you know, be up for it, whatever. Suck Showtime, it suck it up and put on a show. Every you got to do it, right? Every day. You got an event coming up this weekend at Cole Haynes on Southside Boulevard. Yes, Tell Cole Haynes, Southside Boulevard. Um, so they, uh, we've been working together a little bit, um, and they have finally brought me back again. Uh, last yep. time we had a great event for St. Patty's Day. Okay. Uh, but now we're going to do a, just a random, it's an old school party. Yep. Dress up in your old school attire. Put okay. on your Run DMC outfit. That's why I'm wearing this beautiful, sexy outfit. That's a cool jacket. Um, <laughs> 
I mean, only you could get away with it. You're right. You're I don't right. think I could, but that's you're okay. Right. I like you it. Try it no, no, okay. no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. And you got the pads. Make those shoulders look a little bit bigger. Don't, don't right. Don't right. I got to look as big as you. I got to look as big as you. You're right. But yeah, no, uh, okay. this weekend is the throwback party um, because it's where I began. Um, it used to be a place called South Street. Uh, okay. Is, is I remember that. Where, yeah. 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 And yeah. We rocked that place. South Street Friday. was rocking. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was the DJ. You love so banging that part, don't bring you? It, yeah. You oh, love my God. Bang. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Come on out this Saturday at Cool Hands on the South Side. That's right. And it's going to be wild. No so. doubt about it. All right. What's the, uh, what's the future for DJ EL, man? Where, where are you um, headed? Where are you I, headed? I, I see myself on tour with NASCAR because they're bringing okay. us out to a lot of different things. Um, we'll be the entire month of August. NASCAR has decided to take me on tour. We'll be on Michigan International Speedway. Okay. Uh, we're going to Watkins Glen. Yep. Two weeks after that, and then the following, the final week of August, we'll be in Daytona for all four days yep. of the um, Coke Zero Sugar yep. 400. I have to say it correctly. Coke okay. Zero Sugar 400. Okay. Uh, yeah, cool. it's going to be amazing. Great. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being here. I love you, brother. Yeah, love you too. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm man. so happy for you, man. Keep up the good work, all right? Yes. All yes. right, awesome. DJ EL, you'll see him everywhere, man. Catch him. Hopefully you catch him live because he puts on a heck of a show. Hey, if you like these kind of conversations with people that are doing great things right here in Jacksonville, go check out more at IWantABuzz.com. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. <laughs>